I'll just start by saying this is quite comical. I'm just going for a walk now. I was saying some really meaningful stuff, and then when I went to leave after saying some really deep stuff about lots of things, I walked back and I said to my parents, you know, here's here's something that, that boggles my mind when... I can say in front of a room of people who work for a court system, if I say, if I'm in the right and the, the, the governmental representatives happen to have it wrong, happen to be incorrect, and we all know that the police are basically a faction of the government, so it's not like I can call the police on the government, and you can't call the government on the government. They'll just say, ah, so what? And then I said, you know, what I need is since you're my mother and father, I mean, I'm a grown adult. I don't need you in that way. But if you care about what I'm saying, realizing that we all are all free to make our own decisions, and I deserve to have my children, and I got them taken away by a person who just had a hissy fit and had a little problem of her own little, in her own little mind and took my kids away from me, and a government group moves in and capitalizes on that and makes money off it. So they don't care that I'm in the right. They just care that I say, I'm not going to pay your money because I'm in the right. I'm doing the right thing. And my kids are being taken from me. So this is something that really makes me stand up for the truth because this is true. They are taking my kids from me. They have basically stolen them. I don't want to put accusations out there, but if someone comes and takes something from you with, without reason, without real true reason, that's theft. And I'm not saying that my kids are possessions, but the relationship that we should have has been taken from us. So, and then as I'm saying all this, I, I mean, I literally said just about all that. And <laughs> while I'm saying it, my mom's listening, slowly knitting. All this stuff that I say, I, I need people to actually stand up and care to do what's right so our families can be strong and stuff like that. And they, they both nod their heads. My mom's just knitting. And my dad goes, <laughs> did you hear what they just said on here? They were talking about boobs, and the answer on, on Family Feud said milk wagons. And I went, oh, my God. And then, like, I didn't know what to say. I was stunned for a second. And then the next one goes, ding. And he goes, ha, ha, big bouncy booties. <laughs> big bouncy booties. And he, like, announced it, like, just to play along with it. And I'm like, do you see how distracted you are? I just said something about your son wants you to stand up for him or he's going to go to jail. Big bouncy booties. <laughs> milk wagons. And I'm like. I don't find any of this stuff funny because I'm not a little child anymore. And I walked out. Like, I feel like I'm being mean to people because I can't be stupid on purpose anymore. Like, this is what waking up feels like when you see even the adults around you being like, hey, butts and boobs, yay. Like, they want you to be distracted by that. The people that are in charge that do have psychological, like government psychology specialists know what to do to keep you distracted. And they're not going to want to agree with that. They're not going to, even if you bring it out in front of them, they're not going to be, yeah, that's what we've been doing. And even if they did, people wouldn't want to believe it because they feel safe in their little shells. So these are the kind of issues that I, I'm, I'm, I find it a little comical, but it hurts at the same time.